Okay, so now I'm going to go check out the uh, public garden now that I've come out the, okay, so the Roman Cathedral. I'll show you really quickly on the map where I've come from and where I'm going just to help you out as well. So I've just come out of this Roman Cathedral, um, Greek theatre here. I'm going to do is I'm going to go along there, down the steps, follow it all the way around and end up in this public garden here. But even the steps look stunning, I'll uh, show you what it looks like. Even the steps, as you can see back there, pretty, uh, pretty nice. I've got to say, um, really, really nice. So the place is really clean. People are incredibly friendly. Um, definitely friendlier than in Catania. I'm gonna have to say that. Um, at the hotel, there wasn't anything he couldn't do for me. I went to the cafe that I mentioned, he was closing, he still served me up. The food was just, it was really good, but he was really pleasant um, and really sort of happy and smiling, wanting to help. That's exactly what I want. Anyway, let's get over to the garden. I think I'm at the entrance of what is the, the public garden now. Um, only because it looks quite nice and the gates are really good. So I'll give you a little bit of information. Um, this public garden, the surface area is 22,400 meters squared, which is quite nice. Um, it has an irregular shape. And where are we? I'll show you some background we're talking. And slip road reading to here is in the west. Uh, it just tells you a little bit about it. If you really want to find out, go find out. It's the public garden uh, here in Tormina. I'm going to wander around. So as I walk around the public garden, um, I'm just amazed at how much time, how much effort has been put into making it the way it is. I mean, you know, from the way the bricks are laid, from the way it's set out, from the type of pots that I've used, you know, it is just absolutely unbelievable the detail that's gone into it down to the specific tree um, that has been planted so it grows a certain size, a certain style. Um, some of the little houses that have just sort of been carved and made. Um, some of the stone features that we've got, the way the paths have been done. It's just an absolutely fantastic thing and it's free. So without a shadow of a doubt, I would uh, recommend and the views are absolutely absolutely second to none um, and again you can see the coast on one side it's just absolutely brilliant slight change of plan decided to have found a nice little road and I'm gonna go and check out the church of Madonna de la Grezi it seems to be a nice very very steep walk down the hill um, but I'm gonna go down there and uh, just explore and see what's down there um, I'll let you know when I get there but it's really steep I'm just thinking what's it gonna be like walking up okay so this little route now is starting to get super ropey um, I don't know if you're actually allowed this way or not but it's a path but there's been like a bit of vegetation I've had to kind of climb over okay so I'm totally gonna say I am completely and utterly totally off any type of track um, that was here um, this is what I'm looking at this is what I'm gonna go down now carry on this is what it's been like for the last maybe five minutes coming down uh, it's a kind of path it's kind of broken uh, however the views you ain't gonna get this view anywhere else, really. Uncharted. There's nobody here. It's right across the sea. It's right across. I think I'm gonna carry on down this route for maybe five more minutes. 
I think it just goes down onto the beach and then I'm gonna go all the way up it anyway. Wish me luck. <laughs> I'm sure very, very, very few people see. Slightly annoying thing is, coming down is easy, going up is hard work, but I get to enjoy the absolutely amazing views again. Let's get up. Okay, so I've come to the top of that on my territory. I'm knackered. I'm having a quick five minutes, sat down, and then I've heading off again. But the view from here is stunning. Okay, so I'm walking down a road called Via, Via Roma, and um, it's sort of, we've got the, the sort of street that runs, the main street that runs parallel to this, but this is sort of on the coast type thing. Um, almost running parallel with the coast and the main road and it's an absolutely smooth road and the views of the coast and the cliff edges are absolutely fantastic um, I'll show you a picture of a, of a boat way at sea and you'll be able to work out how how far it is um, it's, it's just absolutely beautiful I would never have discovered this had I not sort of gone off a little bit off the uh, off the beaten track and just had a wander I genuinely feel like I've been walking for ages I think I have been walking for ages but I've seen some oh shockers careful when you're looking at the camera and also climbing some stairs <sighs> holy smoke I mean I'm tired but I've come to a a busy hustling square now. All I want to do is get a drink on a square with an amazing view. That is my plan. Okay, so this is the uh, the main square. It's hustle and bustle, but you know what? It's a kind of nice hustle and bustle. So that road called Via Roma that I was walking down that I said it was really, really smooth and I saw cliff edges and um, it was a really, really nice walk just then. I'll show you where that is now. Oh, way around over there. 